excited to announce that we have a new course called the Sound for Live Streaming with the A10 Mini. So for those of you that are not interested in that, you are dismissed. For those of you that are, let me just talk about what the course covers and what it doesn't cover, just so you're clear on what you're getting into here. Number one, the course really assumes that you have already a pretty decent handle on how to live stream with your ATEM Mini, ATEM Mini Pro or ATEM Mini Pro ISO. All that video stuff is not what we're focused on here. Instead, we're focused on getting the best quality sound along with your live stream or for the ATEM Mini Pro or the ATEM Mini Pro ISO, you can really kind of supercharge your workflow here if you're doing multi-camera video shoots with a post-processing workflow. So what do we cover in the course? We cover, first of all, the fundamentals of digital sound and sound in general. We also talk about signal chains and the difference between line and microphone levels so that you can really understand how to connect different types of gear together and make sure that your audio flows cleanly all the way through the live stream or the recording. We'll, of course, talk about configuring the sound settings for the A10 Mini and also how to use the mixer interface. Of course, no course on sound would be complete without talking about microphones, so we do have a segment there that talks about choosing the best microphone for your particular setup. Then, of course, once you have your mic chosen, we also talk about how to connect everything up. Microphones to mixers to field recorders to channel strips, preamps, whatever it is you're going to use, and which may be best for your particular situation. Then, of course, once you've connected multiple pieces of gear together, it's very important that you calibrate the audio levels between them so that you don't get clipping later on in the signal chain. Say, for example, if you've got everything set up just right, but you have the input level set too high on your A10 Mini, it'll start to clip in the A10 Mini and your sound will be ruined. We talk about how to prevent that by calibrating the levels. Also, when you're sending video from multiple cameras or even just from a single camera and the audio directly into the A10 Mini, you often run into sync issues. So we talk about exactly how to figure out whether you have a sync issue and what you need to do to solve it. One of the richest things about the A10 Mini series is that it has a great set of processors in it for sound, including equalizers, expanders, gates, compressors, limiters, and we talk about how to use all of these to optimize your sound and really sweeten it up. And then of course we do all of this by showing a couple of different examples on how you could connect everything up. So that's what we do cover. Let's talk about what we do not cover, just again so that everyone is clear on what we're doing in this course. Again, basic setup of cameras, HDMI inputs, switching between cameras, doing keys, upstream, downstream keys, streaming from your A10 Mini Pro or A10 Mini Pro ISO directly from the Ethernet port, connecting to the network. Those are things that we don't cover here. We just assume that you already understand how to do all that with your A10 Mini. That may be a different course someday. Encoding software is another thing we don't cover here specifically. That's really outside the scope of this course. So that's going to be things like OBS, Ecamm Live, vMix, so on and so forth. So if that sounds like it might be something that's helpful for your situation, we'd love to have you join the course over at school.learnlightandsound.com. And if not, we'd still love to have you join our weekly Sound for Video sessions over at the Curtis Jet Audio YouTube channel. Talk to you soon.